We're given matrix A and asked to find the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue three plus six i in the form where the x component is positive one and the y component is a plus bi. Looking at our notes below, the eigenvectors of a matrix A corresponding to a particular lambda are the non-zero solutions to this equation here. Where in our case we'd have this equation here, where here's lambda times the two by two identity matrix minus the given matrix A times the eigenvector equals the zero vector. So subtracting these matrices, we have lambda minus seven, two, negative twenty-six, and lambda plus one. Now we'll substitute three plus six i for lambda and solve the system of equations. So for lambda equals three plus six i, we'd have three plus six i minus seven. Well, three minus seven is negative four, so we have negative four plus six i, two, negative twenty-six, and then here we'd have three plus six i plus one. Of course, three plus one is four, so we have four plus six i, Now let's go ahead and write the augmented matrix from this matrix equation. Where the first row would come from the equation negative four plus six i times x sub one plus two times x sub two equals zero. So the first row would be negative four plus six i, two and zero. And the second row would come from the equation negative twenty-six x sub one plus four plus six i times x sub two equals zero. So we have negative twenty-six, four plus six i and zero. And now we'll write this in reduced row echelon form. So for our first step, let's get a real number in this position here by multiplying the first row by the conjugate of negative four plus six i. So we'll replace row one with negative four minus six i times r sub one. Well negative four plus six i times negative four minus six i ends up being sixteen and then minus thirty-six i squared, which is sixteen minus thirty-six times negative one, which equals fifty-two. So the first row is fifty-two, and then two times negative four minus six i is negative eight minus twelve i, and then we have zero. Second row stays the same. Let's continue on the next slide. Notice two times negative twenty-six plus fifty-two would be zero, Let's replace row two with two times row two plus row one. Let's also get a one in this position by replacing row one with one over fifty-two times row one. One over fifty-two times fifty-two is one. And then one over fifty-two times negative eight minus twelve i would be negative eight minus twelve i over fifty-two. But all these share a common factor of four. We can write this as four times negative two minus three i, all over four times thirteen, the four simplify out. So we have the quantity negative two minus three i divided by thirteen, the third element is zero. And then for two times row two plus row one, two times negative twenty-six plus fifty-two is zero. Two times four plus six i would be eight plus twelve i, and if we add negative eight minus twelve i, that would be zero. And then we have zero. So as expected, we do have a row of zeros, which means there are an infinite number of eigenvectors corresponding to the given eigenvalue. But this first row tells us that x sub one plus the quantity negative two minus three i divided by thirteen times x sub two must equal zero. So if we solve this for x sub one, we can say that x sub one equals positive two plus three i divided by thirteen times x sub two. So if we were looking for all the eigenvectors corresponding to the given eigenvalue, we could let x sub two be equal to t, and therefore x sub one would be equal to, let's write this as two thirteenths plus three thirteenths i times t, Remember the eigenvector can't be the zero vector, so we can say t can't equal zero. So again, in general, we can say that the eigenvector x would have an x component of two thirteenths plus three thirteenths i times t 
times t and a y component of t, again, given t doesn't equal zero. But remember, if we go back to the first slide, we went the eigenvector where the x component is positive one and the y component is in the form of a plus or minus bi. So we want to solve this for x sub two. Multiplying both sides by the reciprocal, we'd have x sub two equals 13 over the complex number two plus three i times x sub one. So again, the eigenvector that we're looking for, we know has an x component of one, which means x sub one is one. So now we need to find x sub two of one, which would just be 13 over the complex number two plus three i, but we need this in the form of a plus or minus b i, so we'll go ahead and multiply this by two minus three i over two minus three i. So in the numerator we have 13 times two minus three i. The denominator we're going to have four, and then minus six i plus six i, that's zero, minus nine i squared, which becomes plus nine. So we have 13 times two minus three i divided by 13. 13 simplify out, so x sub two equals two minus three i when the x component is positive one. So we have two minus three i. So this is the particular eigenvector we're looking for. Going back to our first slide, we only enter the values of a and b, and notice how we have a plus sign here. So a is equal to positive two, and b would be negative three. I hope you found this helpful.